All right, we're back. So we're just going to light these logs just because uh, this is where we left off. Although we were thinking about leveling combat, so there's 29 hours left. We're looking at all of our options. We're thinking we could just uh, probably start doing combat pretty quick here, right? We already have the, well, we set the combat experience back to what it was. So melee will train everything, range will train everything, magic will train everything. That's perfectly fine. So we'll get a defense pretty high, or maybe melee just trains defense. Maybe we just use melee for most of it. Yeah, melee just trains everything. When we're just training range, we just power train range. When we're training magic, we just power train magic. For melee, we'll just train all of them. We'll be using melee the most. We know some really good uh, training spots. We know some really good training spots could go for pure exp or we could get money in the process we're looking at the enemies we're deciding if we wanted to go kill chickens to get the loot from them actually maybe that would make sense it's essentially the birth out trolls we get an exp at a such such a faster rate we get a exp so so quickly at the birth out trolls but at the chickens, I guess we would uh, make make like 800k, make a whole bunch of money in the process, anyways. But there'd be a whole bunch of banking, right? Banking, banking's the biggest, banking's the biggest cause of losing experience. Essentially, if you're banking, you're always losing experience just banking. But I guess it uh, doesn't matter too much. We're still going to decide here. <clears throat> so maybe we're just getting ready for combat this episode. All we have to do is create some throwing weapons. So we should have thought about this in the past. We should have created some throwing weapons while we were leveling smithing. We could just make some throwing knives, all of them. Then for magic, maybe we could just buy runes from the Grand Exchange. Then just uh, maybe buy the weapons in Varrock. Because I don't think they sell like good things in... We could check the Varrock Archery Store, although I don't think they have crossbows, do they? Do they have a crossbow and an offhand crossbow in the Varrock Store? We'd have to check. So we're going to take a quick uh, detour to Varrock to check that out. Although we do need money first. So we got to level 67 fire making. I think this was, this is the second inventory. All right. So do we just get to level 68 before we go? We might as well. That might just help with smithing a little bit more later. And then we wouldn't have to worry about fire making. So for the first few minutes, maybe the first five minutes, I guess, we're just gonna get this last fire making level. And then we're gonna teleport to the mining place. And then we're gonna go mine some copper, mine some tin, mine some iron, or we could just buy the bars off the Grand Exchange. Buying the bars off the Grand Exchange would be a good thing to do. Well, we don't even really need any, right? We just need like 10 of each or something. They make like, what, is it 25 or 50 knives per, per bar? I'm not 100% sure. We didn't exactly check all the numbers before. Probably should have. Let's uh, light these logs. So basically, this inventory or the next one would get us the fire making level. And then we have to decide quickly how we're getting the bars. We could just go mine them. We would need coal to make steel ones. I think we'll just go buy the bars. But that mines them so quick, right? It's like 10 seconds. And then you have a whole bunch of ores already. Copper's right beside Varrock. Tin's right beside Varrock. Iron's right beside Varrock. Mithril's right beside Varrock. Coal is the only one that we don't have. We sold all of our coal. We don't want to be smelting smelting bars, right? Smelting bars is going to take time. <clears throat> Mining and smelting is going to take time. So we're just gonna buy the bars or buy the knives. <clears throat> Hopefully we can just buy the knives off the Grand Exchange. If we can't, then we're gonna have to get the bars. All these decisions. In the melee, we already have all the melee weapons set up. We were preparing for melee, but uh, we weren't preparing for range. We should have been. Essentially, that's gonna be the whole thing to learn from this episode. 67. 
Oh, so we'll just come back when we're done the fire making level then. All right, here's the fire making level. So we're level 68 fire making. Is there anything we could do in the inventory? Pretty much the pickaxes. We'll just take the pickaxes. We'll go make the pickaxes quickly. And then we'll go put the pickaxes for sale anyways. We know the pickaxes probably won't instantly sell, but they will give us a lot of smithing experience. We could just make rune arrowheads. That'd be the super easy way to do. We just want to make a plus one rune pickaxes. We just want to make five of those for now. Oh, we need to heat them. We still have the heat rune. Although, it's going to be a lot better because uh, because we leveled our fire making. I think, I guess we are just making these pickaxes here first. We'll just get smithing out of the way before we do combat. Because combat was supposed to be around the 24th hour. First 24 hours, it's just skilling. Next 24 hours, it's just uh, combat. Or the beginning of it anyways. Essentially, now we got the 68 fire making. We could still get two fire making levels. So it didn't take too long. It took like five minutes. Probably would have taken like 15, probably only like 15 to 20 minutes to get to level 70. I guess 68 is close enough. <clears throat> we could do fire making some other time. That's uh, 15 to 20 minutes we could spend doing other things like smithing. So maybe we'll come back when these are done, because we will get to level 58 smithing, maybe 59, maybe close to 60. I don't think we're going to get to level 60, unless we just make ruined arrowheads. Do we just uh, finish smithing all these, and then we got ruined arrowheads and pickaxes to post on the exchange? We could sell the arrowheads instantly, the pickaxes we could uh, sell, sell probably within the day, and then other things we could sell the un oh all the unholy symbols we could sell the 1000 holy symbols on the grand exchange that probably won't give us too much probably only like a hundred thousand and then the oak planks we have oak planks we could level construction and we probably should so we'll come back when these pickaxes are all pickaxe plus threes and when we're done smithing to see how much time we have and then we can maybe go hop to the grand exchange we have to think if there's anything in the bank we should do anything with first. So if we go to Varrock, we could get him to move our house over to Taverly, but that would cost 5,000 coins. We don't have 5,000 coins. Oh, we could open up all those uh, rock sediment things that we mined. We could sell, sell all the gems as is, use that money to buy other things. All right, we're back. So we get a 53 experience for the rune pickaxe plus three. We just uh, made another one. And then with the rest of our rune bars, we just made arrowheads. So essentially we're just gonna go and try and sell the uh, six rune pickaxes, not instantly. And then we're gonna try to sell the arrowheads instantly maybe. Yeah, just cause that'll give us quick money quick. Or unless the holy symbols. It's just we can't uh, sit there forever price checking everything. I think uh, arrows were going down or something. Oh, so he's getting a 200 million XP in absolutely everything. Cool. So you see all these pop ups. Everyone's getting uh, all these level ups because everybody's getting double experience. So we don't have uh, any bars. Let's go to Varrock. <clears throat> so we were going to go to Menaphos because it is the closer one. Although, we need to go to Varrock anyways. We need to go to Varrock to the maid store, and then to the archery store. And then we need to decide if we want to buy any, uh, if we want to buy any, any bars or not. <clears throat> Essentially, we could just go here, go to the archery shop, we could go buy a few things, and then we could plan out from there. So we do have bronze arrowheads. We could make some bronze arrow quicks if we wanted to go through the first levels. Or we could do the catacombs quest, but I'm not sure. So you do sell bolts, buy all the bronze bolts for now. Do you sell a crossbow? Where's the crossbow? There is no, there is no crossbow. All right, so we'll just take all the arrows, take the short bow. That's everything, I guess. We don't really need anything, right? We have, we can buy, we don't need arrows. We're gonna be, 
out of these. So we just need to get iron bars then, maybe. There was no crossbow there. So, we gotta arrange that up. There wasn't a crossbow, so we don't need these bolts for anything. We do have a few bronze arrows. We could uh, fletch a few bronze arrows, and then we can just go buy iron bars, steel bars. So it should go by pretty quickly, even just like this. Or we looked at the shop, we can uh, do everything. So let's just sell everything. All, oh, what, 75? Okay, let's go, one, two, three, four, five. So, there we go, those are all on the auction house. And now we just need to figure out what to what to sell. Oh, wait a minute, let's uh, open all these things. Let's, uh, no, I'll draw no. All of these, let's draw all of these geodes. So what do we do, open all? Let's open one at a time or something. Let's just open all these. These will give us a whole bunch of uh, jewels. A bunch of jewels. So let's just uh, deposit. Let's just uh, withdraw all. Right click, save. You click like open all. Does it open them slowly, one at a time, or something? Does it open them faster if you spam click it? It does open them faster if you spam click it. All right. So let's just spam click these, get all these uh, jewels, and then sell sell all the gems. Sell the gems. We just hit the one button, and just spam click here. Perfect. We're getting shards, a bunch of things to sell. <laughs> so this is just all the uh, all the rocks that you get from mining. You get all the ores, but then you also get these. We should have a gem. So we should just have our finger on the one button. Just so when we bank, we just hit the one button, and then we're outside of the bank. We're gonna have to sell these quick. Uh, bank at the banker. Oh, I think we can just uh, hit the thing, can't we? Right out front of the place? Wasn't there just, uh, I'm pretty sure. We're just trying to remember how to speed up certain things. Certain things like if you left click over here. No. Oh, you can. Okay, just left click the banker. Left click the banker. That works. Left click the banker, pressed one. It's much better than right clicking and going through those menus and everything. Why, why didn't it? Uh, why didn't do the bank? Sometimes it seems delayed, or we exit the bank too soon. So how much experience are these gems? So if we cut it, 15 experience. Jade, 25, 50. So it'll be 100 experience, 67 experience. We'd get a lot of experience uh, cutting these, but we're going to sell all of them. We're just gonna sell all these. Other people can cut them for experience. Draw everything, draw spirit shards. <clears throat> Maybe we need spirit shards for summoning. Cause it all spirit shards. So what do we not need here? Don't need, don't need steel arrows, bronze arrows. Maybe we do. Don't mithril arrows, we don't need those. And we don't need willow logs for anything. Then there's something else in here, right? There was something else that we had a whole bunch of to sell. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't. Oh, the holy symbols. All right. So that should be everything. Unless we want to sell the headless arrows. We'd have to think about that. Let's just uh, withdraw these bronze arrows in case we need to make any. So now, let's just go sell everything here quick. Oh, <clears throat> We just click here to offer, and we go here, let's try to sell them instantly, or if they don't sell. So we're not even getting too much uh, money money for all these. We'd be getting like uh, less money if they were cut. So we'll try below 100. Right, they sold instantly. Mithril arrows we don't need. Oh, that's still like 50k or something. Inventory. Now we have 298k. Willow logs. We don't need the willow logs. We can sell those. And steel arrows. We don't need steel arrows. Seems like we're losing so much money selling steel arrows. Bronze arrows. Do we want to keep those? Do we want to sell these for 1 million? We don't know. For now, we'll just do that. So we just need iron bars. or something. 
And then steel bar maybe. So we just need like 10, 20. We're just buying extras just in case. We'll buy 30 of them. Um, mithril bar. We'll buy like 40 mithril bars. And then we need adamant bars. That's gonna cost a lot of money for those. <clears throat> and then rune bars. We're not gonna train range with these, are we? Maybe we will. Let's make 50 of them. All right, then we can see what we get. Collect everything, we got all of the bars. We still have uh, 100K left. What else do we need? Air runes. So we can't spend a whole lot of time here. That's the thing. But holy jeez, it's gonna cost. Okay, so what do we do? How much is 2K? 80,000. Goodbye, 2,000 air runes. Alright, and then hopefully the pickaxes sell. That'd be another 440k or something. Or we could just go here. We could sell these. We could offer. I don't know, let's just offer like 10k. 10k of them. I don't know. 18k. Now, if we need money for something. So we have everything that we need. We could go down here, deposit the things in the ore box. We could even smith them here. We could smith them down here. That makes sense. Makes complete sense. So we have air runes. We're gonna get some equipment. We're gonna get uh, throwing knives. We just go deposit all into the metal bank. We just uh, smith here. So we just want to make some like iron, uh, iron knife. Begin so how many do we need? One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Five. How quickly do they think? So I think uh, the speed we're going to be upgrading, we're going to be burning through these, aren't we? So let's make ten or something. knives, right? Offhand. Like 10 offhand knives. So it'd be 250. Oh no, deposit everything. Open interface. Oh, hopefully it's still offhand iron knife. Perfect. percent sure how many of that is hopefully that's not uh, too many but then we need iron so open smithing interface we'll just queue up the iron ones we'll just start queuing them up so we need steel knives steel throwing knives let's queue up five for now perfect Alright, so maybe we'll uh, end the clip. We'll come back after we have uh, smithed all of our throwing knives. Alright, so there's two minutes left. There's two minutes left to this hour. So we did manage to make some steel knives. And then we could just use them all to level up. These are all steel knives and steel offhand knives. And then we're going to have to make uh, mithril knives and then adamant knives. And then, and then maybe we'll make some runite knives. I'm not 100% sure. I think we just need the low level ones though. Maybe we could go to the Grand Exchange to try to buy some. But then there's always the chance that they won't be on the Grand Exchange. Pretty sure on one of our playthroughs we went to go try to buy them and they weren't there. So we didn't even bother this time. Maybe we, maybe we should have tried. Maybe we should try. Maybe we'll run to the Grand Exchange quick and see if we can just buy a whole bunch of knives. Even if it costs like 200k, maybe it'll be worth it. So this would be like level 10 range, level 20 range. Myth would be 30. Adamant would be 40. Rune would be 50. We'd have to find out the different uh, prices of all the knives. Oh, these ones it says what? Like 50. This one says 100. It costs like 100,000 for a 1,000 of them. 
if they're on the Grand Exchange, 100,000 for a thousand of those ones. And then we don't know about Mithril or anything, but it's uh, 28, 28, so that means we're going to have to log out. That's the end of this hour. We did a whole bunch. I guess we finished off the fire making level, and then we finished smithing the rune pickaxes and the rune arrowheads, and then... Did we even sell the rune arrowheads? Maybe we did. But now we're just making uh, steel knives to level up range. And then we're going to go to this shop here to go buy some magic gear. And then maybe the range shop didn't really have anything for us. So, five. We're going to have to log out here. When we log in, we just click here and smith.